Hey everyone, welcome to today's top coach tip. And this is for brand new coaches um, or coaches that are ready to dive into their business and really start giving it their all. Today, we're gonna talk about confidence and owning it and being comfortable posting on social media. One of the biggest things that I hear is, well, I don't want to post on social media three times a day because I don't want to annoy people. And I have, you know, someone from high school that's so rude that always makes fun of me for it. My sister-in-law is so nasty about it and they make fun of me. Stop right there. You need to stop caring what other people think because it doesn't matter if you're doing something good, something bad, something in between. They're going to judge you anyways. So go for it. Just do it. Coaching makes you happy. Coaching changes lives, so do not be ashamed of what you're doing. Posting a sweaty selfie isn't vain. It isn't you showing off because Lord knows we don't look super hot after a workout. We're sharing that to inspire others that I got it done. You know, I had roadblocks during my day. There was probably a million excuses going through my mind, but I got it done. And that means that you might inspire someone else on your newsfeed to be like, okay, all right, okay, Kirsten did it. I'm going to go ahead, get my workout done, and just push through it. Perfect. Maybe you're posting a meal idea. Someone posts or comes across your post and says, oh, that's brilliant. Like, I'm going to make that for my family tonight rather than getting takeout. That's a success. And if you're posting a picture of you with your hair all done, your makeup looking good, and you feel confident, share it because confident women. You, we should be out there. We should be totally okay sharing. You know what? I feel good today. I'm going to take a picture and I'm going to share it. Share a picture of you with a smile on your face. Maybe you'll even put a quote with it. Uh, maybe you have a message to share. Maybe it'll just be you looking hella hot. Who knows? But my point being, no matter what you do, you will be judged. There's people in this world, that's what they want to do. They thrive off of negative energy and they want to bring you down too. But like I said, you like this. You find coaching fun. The community is amazing. Share that. And if you're sharing valuable content, recipes, motivation, inspiration, you're sharing a sense of community, positivity. People want to see that stuff. People are tired of all the negativity and anger and hatred and judgment on Facebook. They're sick of seeing that. So give them something fresh to see, something worth their while. And I promise you, they will not be sick of it. And if you do have people that judge you or critique you, and unfortunately, it tends to be people that we're closest with. It can be like a, a sibling, a relative of some sort, a sister-in-law, brother-in-law. It could be someone that you least expect. You think, oh gosh, I think they would support me. But those are the people that you actually need to have a conversation with and say, hey, I saw you kind of make fun of me on Facebook there, or you made a nasty comment. I just want you to know that this coaching thing makes me super happy. And I'm in a much better place today because of it. So if you could stop being a dick, that'd be sweet. Seriously, say it. Tell them that, you know what? Don't make fun of me for this. Like, I'm sick of seeing your bar star pictures. I don't say that. I just unfollow people because people always have the choice. Facebook is a great, great, great thing because I can follow people. I cannot follow people. And you don't have to unfriend someone, you just click unfollow and they don't have to see your stuff. So give them that option too. If you don't wanna see it, and if you have nothing nice to say, unfollow me or unfriend me, done. And I'll tell you right now that coaching and me being myself and being confident and being open about what I do and what I'm passionate about has really helped me find out who my real friends are and who matters. So. If someone is nasty to you or making fun of you behind your back because of coaching, that's the universe's way of saying, girlfriend, these people are not worth your time. They are not your true friends. If they have nasty things to say about you bettering yourself, bettering the lives of others, and enjoying something, mm, probably not the best people to have kicking around. Just saying. So I want you to own it. I want you to be confident and comfortable. Pick up some personal development. We'll talk about that more on another day. But you need to own your confidence and you need to own your image and your brand and your business because ultimately, if you do not have that mindset of, I'm a total boss babe, like I've got this, I'm good at this, I love what I do. If you're like, well, like I guess I am kind of annoying, like I post a lot and oh gosh, 
Cheryl, she just, she's always making fun of me at work. I just hate, hate hearing it. I'm so sick. No, stop it. You matter. Your posts are valuable. You're inspiring people to be better every single day. That's a good thing. And you should be proud of that. So own it, live it, shout it from the rooftops. And I have to admit from when I first started, I tried not to use the word beach body like at all. Cause I was so nervous. I thought, Oh God, like people are going to, you know, affiliate me with like maybe a, another coach that's really tacky and salesy and slimy. And I don't want that to be me. So I'm not going to use the word beach body. Like, no, I'm a beach body coach. Beach body is the reason that I'm the healthiest I've ever been. Beach body is the reason that I only work part time. Beach body is the reason that I get to travel, do renovations, go shopping, pay my grocery bills. Beach body does that. That company has changed my life. Be proud of it. Be proud of this company you're a part of and represent it as much as you want and shout it from the mountaintops and just be proud. So your challenge today is to make a confident post about coaching. Just say like, you know what? Like this is something I love and I'm so happy to have so many people supporting me and loving on me and showing so much gratitude to me. I am so lucky for this coaching opportunity. I am so blessed. I've met so many amazing people. I just can't wait for what this next few months has in store for me. So I want you to make a post about confidence and how Beachbody will change that for you. So you can run with this. Just have a theme of coaching and confidence and roll with it. Open, it's open, do whatever you want, but just change your thoughts now. You know, don't let this be something that rolls on forever and ever and ever where you're like, oh gosh, I'm just, I'm not a top coach. Like I can't post like that. You know what? I was not a three-star diamond coach two years ago. I was a brand new coach, but you know what? I pretended like I was a top coach and I still think in my head, act like a top 10 coach, do the behaviors, reach out, post, be visible, do all those things, do all the training and pretend and fake it till you make it. Because ultimately that's how I got to where I am today is being confident, believing in myself, being proud of the company that I work for and representing them in the highest, highest form. So you guys can do this too. Make your confidence post and screenshot it and comment below. Thanks guys.